Hey man, you can know you watch. Well, my people, one of the patterns of singing that the man used in that video sounds like a pattern that Gullibap used in one of his songs. You know, you know that song was say, hey, "Every girl want to touch her for me." You know, Gullibap, the musician. You see me and. Another pattern of singing that he used in that video, viewers and subscribers, it sound like uh, a pattern that a veteran artist use. I can't quite remember that veteran artist name, you know? When you get me hot this year, what am I going to do if you hold me? Ah, yeah, yeah. You see me? Anyways, my people, I just presented to you a video that shows a person who goes by the name of Kevin Smith. Now, Kevin Smith had been arrested by the police within the country of Jamaica after persons died at a church that is located somewhere within the parish of St. James that is within the country that is known as Jamaica. Now, I'm not going to explain everything about that situation in this video, but if you want a better understanding about that whole situation, I'm going to leave a link at the end of this video, and if you click that link, that link will take you to a previous video that I posted about that whole situation, all right? All right, now, I am going to present to you pieces of audios that are circulating on social media. Anyways, tell me what I think about these audios. Take a listen and observe. Good morning, Miss Reed. Good morning. I'm all right. I'm not, not, not wrong with me. I'm all right. But now listen to everything you hear and, and, and believe because sometimes people run with the wrong story and people say the wrong things and people accuse people wrongfully. But what I'm saying is that we have no answer for what takes place. I was there part of what, in the last part in the evening. What happened. But all I know is I see mystery and I see God in action. What I witness. How can you stand, sit down one place and one soldier, police, military, 100 gunshot go at you one time and that one shot touch the man of God? That is mystery. That's all we have to say. What happened is it is not spiritual. It is a demonic attack from some maroon people. When when care come the Saturday night, we can explain to you. But me talk to you. Listen to what you hear here. But and everything you have to swallow and, and, and accept. But me I right still make good with the paper for go a court for breach a curfew act. We were taken to jail. We treated like a king and queen down there. Some of the guys them that was inside and so His Excellency is still there. But just pray for him. So they may do Jesus and he may come out victorious. So we have to suffer with him and reign with him. Now so go Christ. Of course I'm good. I'm good because I'm alive and well and God is able to carry you. But you don't tell me or you cannot you can answer for me and you cannot stand before God for me. So allow me if you make my decision. Me thank you for the concern. But maybe the concern you have is not a good concern and is not a good advice. So therefore, me no me no want you sorry for me. I mean, I want you tell me what you believe in or who you believe in or who you trust because every man has to stand before God and give a confident own sin and their own judgment. So you can't be a judge neither for me, for bishop, nor nobody. So therefore, work your own salvation out with fear and trembling and leave God people alone and mind your own business. That's all I have to say because the Bible teaches you and say, Touch not the Lord and I tell you, prophet no harm. And if you, if you don't know and understand, you leave it alone because you only not this world, but you still don't understand the world you live in. So therefore, you need to go down for your knee ask God to open your eyes and we soon see what takes place. Miss Reed, 
me and your friend, but you can't, you can't tell me what to do with my life and how to live my life. And I said, so Jesus, we had 12 disciples, then betray him and then turn them back upon him. You can't tell me if you turn my back upon my bishop because I'm saying one when deliver you find your bleeding, where you ain't come out there with the bleed like a cow and you they go to church too much, you and he never deliver. And I him deliver you, so you can't sell out. So you can't tell me what to do with my life and how, who, if you believe in that, you don't know what take place. Sorry. Fifi, this disappoint you, but I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Imasa. Hey, well, my people, there's not much I can say about those pieces of audio that I just presented to you. Yes, yeah, so there's not much I can say about those pieces of audio. However, I want to leave two advice with each and every one of you, my viewers and subscribers. And I think that each and every one of you, my viewers and subscribers, know these things that I'm about to say. One, think for yourself. Yeah, think for yourself. Two, not make nobody brainwash you. Mm -hmm. Now, I am going to present another video to you, my viewers and subscribers. And in the background of this video, you're going to hear a person talk about a gate that is located somewhere within the country of Jamaica. In my point of view, the person said some very superstitious things about the gate, you see? Yeah, um, I'm not going to tell you where the gate is located because I'm not trying to give away the surprise. I want you to look at the video for yourself and listen to the things that have been said in this video for yourself. You might be surprised to hear the things that the person said in the background of this video, alright? Anyways, um, here's the video. Take a look, listen, observe and tell me what you think, alright? Yeah man, people, people. You see that little gate there? They say anybody walk through that little gate, they're dead. Yeah, man, at a gate there. And beat Marcus Jack Garvey and jam him through that gate there. And they say the police station will never have another gate on it. And a couple of years ago, well, Glinga police station have a gate. Where's that little gate there? Three men walk through it. And then dead. Last man who walked through it, I said, I said, boy, nothing I do him. I choose to stab him, pick up. I said, for one dead, walk through the gate there. Yeah, man, over there, I beat Marcus Garvey, carry him. And then prophesy, he said, the station will never have another gate. Every gate to the milk, make, put on it, pop off. And if you walk through that little one there, you're dead. Well, me hear them have a saying when they said don't make certain people turn them out. <laughs> you see? And I read my people still. In my point of view, the things that the person said, I think that they are superstition. You know what I mean? But you can tell me what I think, yeah, my people. And yeah, so I'm going to leave it. Big up and respect to each and everyone. And until next time, my name is Dancer Skiller. Big up. Hey, my you, you know where you watch. Dancer Skiller! Yeah, man. Skiller, you are watching Dance on Skiller Tint.